hello there and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great week um we got up this morning and caroline is finally feeling well so i'm finally gonna go father's day shopping a little last minute um we had intentions of doing this over the last few days but she just hasn't felt well today she is finally feeling better she's not being contagious or anything she's just not feel good so anyway i'm gonna take you along and see what kind of father's day things we can find um looking for my stepfather and for their daddy and i guess we'll have to get that one in the mail overnight um if i can't find something for their daddy that he would like uh, i'm gonna get on amazon and order something <laughs> Uh, and have it shipped directly to him. But anyway, um, we're gonna go to a few places. We're kind of in a rush today. Um, Wheeler also needs shoes, and so we're just gonna hit Kohl's. We've gotta go all the way into like an hour, 45 minutes to an hour away from us. Where we live, we don't have like big department stores like that. Um, so we're gonna go to Kohl's or and maybe TJ Maxx or um, something like that. So here we go. So when we first started out at Kohl's, the kids wanted to look at toys, of course. I mean, you know, what trip to Kohl's or Target or anywhere else would not be complete without looking at the toys. Um, we did find a lot of great deals. I mean, there was so much on clearance and then all of the clearance was an additional 30% off. Um, some of this is just, you know, some of the things that we found in the kids sections before we headed over to start shopping for the dads in our lives. <laughs> I honestly don't know how long the Coles in our area has been opened again. Um, it was really, really clean, but a lot of the sh uh, shelves and the racks and stuff were empty. Um, clearance could be found throughout the store. We passed by uh, the shirts and ties and things like that. Over here was one of the, uh, I don't know, little setups for Father's Day gifts with the games and funny things, um, little trinkets and stuff. Then behind that, we found a few or a couple of, uh, of their clearance shelves. That first one there, I'm not even sure what all was on it. This one has a lot of um, clearance games on it. Um, all of this stuff was clearance. And like I said before, the clearance was then an additional 30% off. So we took a good long look here to see what we could find.
if you kind of pay attention to the shelves as we're walking along, you'll notice that um, there are clearance items just intermingled throughout the store. I mean, there were the typical clearance sections, but then, you know, we would be walking along and just find clearance items on shelves. Um, this one right here was back in the kitchen area, usually in the, the uh, kitchen, good grief, in the, uh, um, well, I guess kitchen area, I don't know, but there's usually a shelf with some um, clearance items on it. That whole section there was like dog treats and, and things like gifts for your pets. Um, I think they were mostly left over from Christmas. This shelf was pretty bare, but like I said, as we walk along, you'll notice that a lot of the shelves had um, items with clearance stickers on them throughout the store. Uh, we found, um, I thought this would be a great gift for like a dad who cooks right over here. Uh, it's this uh, grill pan. It was on clearance, the Food Network grill pan. Uh, there was a Oh, a, like a zoodler. Oh, you know, it makes the zucchini and squash uh, noodles over here. That was on clear. The spiralizer. Um, couldn't think of the name of it. <laughs> Several of these sec, uh, items there were on clearance. Um, so we, we just took a look around to see what all we could find and ideas we could get. Had some pretty decent deals as well. Here, you know, some six dollar shirts. Here's some twelve dollar shirts that are some uh, like button up, dressier kind of shirts. Not really my husband or my stepdad style, but I mean, I thought they were a pretty good deal. Uh, we came across this dad section of some gifts here, t-shirts and things. Um, this t-shirt here, Wheeler loves anything Star Wars, and uh, he liked that. This one. I am your father. <laughs> um, it was not John size, so <laughs> we didn't get it. Um, he thought it was really cool that we found these masks here. Uh, I forget how many were in a package. They were reusable, I think, maybe a couple of times. I don't know. Um, Papa Bear hat. We thought that was really cool. Some of the other dad hats there. Up here, we just had, you know, there were some pop sockets, some dad things, you know, little, like shaving kits, and uh, we really liked this smoking food cookbook. Um, our, my stepdad does have a smoker, but I don't know, he uh, he's pretty good at it without a cookbook. <laughs> we did end up getting this book, Your Father's Story. It um, was really neat. It had a lot of different... Uh, questions and things like that in it that dad could answer about his own life um, to pass on to the kids. And John has been really thinking about writing things from uh, his childhood down. And I thought that that book would be a great way to do that because it just asked a lot of questions like about first experiences and things you loved growing up. And so we did end up getting that for him. Um, we just kept on walking and looking, uh, came across the graphic tee section over there for $8. Those, uh, a lot of those t-shirts uh, were, you know, I thought would be great gifts for dads. Um, down through here, we came across this section here. You'll see the, uh, I don't know, is this a onesie? Uh, uh, a jumper? I don't know for, uh, I don't know. We laughed. We thought it was hilarious. Um, and then, you know, you probably in all the Target stores across the country, you're going to be able to find items that are specific to your area. We found, you know, a lot of Tennessee State, you know, things, UT, Nashville Predators, things like that uh, for dads. I 
items like books and DVDs can make great gifts for dad. Um, I like this in this section they had you know books for dads that are you know, new dads all the way up to you know uh, their books about you know, historical uh, events. That's what we looked at the most right here because uh, John is very much a history buff and so. Wheeler took the time to really look at some of these books here, The Forgotten 500, Code Talkers, uh, Higher Calling, or, or Higher, Higher Call. Um, he took time to really look, kind of look at those books and see what he thought uh, John would like. Um, Wheeler shares uh, an interest in history with John. Um, some of those topics he knew about from this year. Up here, I think these were vinyl records which I had heard were, had kind of made a comeback and I hadn't seen any um, in the stores unless you go to like a used book or record shop or something. Uh, so I thought that was really cool that they had some of those. And um, <laughs> so funny thing, you probably see Wheeler holding $2 here. Uh, by this point, we had already come across the hand sanitizer and it was one bottle per person. And so I thought we were leaving earlier and I guess, I don't know. And then we came across this section, but I had already given the kids money to purchase a bottle of hand sanitizer each so we could get three bottles while we were there. So that's why we was holding $2 um, in all of these shots. If you're going to go to Target and purchase books, um, scan them in your Target app because the books came up a whole lot cheaper in the Target app and they price matched them for me. I mean, I'm talking like five to ten dollars cheaper. So they were apparently on sale online. And um, when I pulled up that online price at the cash register, they gave me the uh, lower price. the stuff that we did get at Kohl's and Target. It was the only two places we had time to go today. Um, John's, we've already mailed his present to him, but we got him some graphic tees and um, some books. One was a really cool book um, that you'll see as you see uh, our footage from Target. So Wheeler got a couple of pairs of shoes because bless his heart, what was I thinking? He was wearing a size two and a half and I bought him a five. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm sure his feet feel a lot better. I got him two pair. I got him this pair. These Under Armour shoes, I think they were on sale for $42, and the Nike ones he has on. Um, hey, come here. Let me see those Nike shoes. They were on sale for less than $31, and they're, we love them. So, he really likes those also. So, I got him two pair. Here. Um, for my stepfather, we found this on clearance, and all the clearance had an extra 30% off. Ship, the ship captain and crew. Um, so, I'll get that off in a little bit. Uh, they love taking games to, with them in their RV when they go camping. Sometimes they have friends that go with them or join them at the campground. So, I thought that would be good for in the RV. Caroline wanted the Willy Wisher books. So, these were $4.19 a piece with another 30% off. Pretty good um, reading level for her. Get that out of the way. Let's see. Um, these Under Armour shirts for men, they were on the regular $60, and they were on sale, I think, for like 24 or 19 I'll have to look at the receipt. But, so my stepfather looked really good in that. So we did get him a, that shirt. Uh, let's see. Oh, huh, these, $5.50 with another 30% um, off. So I've got Wheeler a pair of Star Wars pajamas. 
I got these. Sorry, this is moving around a lot. They were $1.40 with another 30% off. Um, put those up for winter next year for Caroline. These graphic tees, I think they were on, oh, these were clearanced. $7.70, then with another 30% off. So there's Wheeler, uh, most of y'all know, he loves to do the Star Wars Lego stop motion. So I got him that one. And these are long sleeve tees. So these will be great for the winter. Star Wars. Um, quite a bit of clearance clothing. So I got Wheeler a pair of Under, Arm, Under Armour uh, pants. $20 minus 30%. And these are really good and thick for next winter. He needs uh, pants for next winter. So these are really nice and thick. Got him this shirt for church that was on clearance, $22 with another 30% off. So they figured that'd be nice for church or whatever. Um, this one, I finally figured out because it didn't have a tag on it, but it was in the clearance section. I think we only paid $15 for this Nike. Um, it's really thick fleece. So here in the winter time, it doesn't always get cold enough to truly need a heavy coat. That right there would probably be enough. These Gloria Vanderbilt red um, jeans for me, I ended up getting for, I think, $8. <laughs> um, Croft and Barrow. I'm not far enough away to really see it. This shirt, really pretty. I figured it'd go good with those red pants. Um, $10.80 with another 30% off. I got these for Caroline. She was really wanting some, like, distressed jeans. Uh, she doesn't really like to wear jeans. Ooh, really bad glare of mud. Brand 1330 with another 30% off. Got her a Christmas, uh, you know, it's a cute shirt. Hilo. Uh, $4.80 with another 30% off. Um, just the Sonoma Everyday Tea, $4.80, 30% off. Um, I think that was most of what we got at Kohl's. We, like I said, we got John a couple of teas, uh, graphic teas to send to him. Um, also wanted to mention that Kohl's was doing uh, Kohl's cash in addition to these fantastic clearance deals that I found there. Um, so while I spent like $270 on everything, now I got a lot of clothes. I got two pair of shoes, an Under Armour and Adidas, or Nike, sorry. Um, I got an Under Armour shirt, Nike Under Armour for Wheeler, uh, several graphic tees for John. Um, I got $50 in Kohl's cash. <laughs> so, oh darn, I'm going to have to go back and check out their clearance <laughs> sections again when my Kohl's cash kicks in in a few days. Um, so, also, if you do go, make sure you look in the app, if you have the Kohl's app downloaded, or maybe online you can print one for a coupon. They did not have the coupons in store. Um, at my at the Kohl's I was at, but they had uh, ten dollars off fifty dollars for Father's Day, um, and there were exclusions on that, and there was twenty percent off of a hundred dollars or more. Um, so there was some coupons in there too that you could use right now that would help save you money. We got John a couple of books, which um, I showed in the footage. Wheeler has been really wanting this, the odd ones out. Something about a famous YouTuber he watches or something. I don't know. Um, this was like $13 in store, but when I had scanned it online, it said $8.18. I didn't know Target would match their online prices. I'm so glad that I asked the guy that was standing up there. Uh, so I got that one for $8.18 ton of clearance stuff at uh, Target as well. Got these Cat and Jack shoes for Caroline, $13.98. Got a couple of bandanas. Wheeler does not like his mask. So I was like, well, we'll try a bandana wrapped around you. 
Um, so they had Germex, and it was a limit one per person. So I gave the kids two dollars each, and they they uh, <laughs> went through line and bought Germex. So we got three Germexes. So only the second time I've seen it around here, unless you buy like the the fancy brand that's like a third of this bottle for $5 or $6. <laughs> um, and then she also got these Cat and Jack shoes, really cute. They're kind of a goldish shimmer. These were $12.58, so on clearance. So um, that is what we got at Target, but we saw a lot of really cool stuff that would be, have been great for Father's Day presents. Um, we're actually going to celebrate Father's Day tonight with my stepdad and my brother-in-law. My mom and stepdad are going camping this weekend. Um, so we're going to, he's off, he's off today. So we're going to go celebrate with them tonight. Um, so I'm going to get this wrapped up and get my berry crumble that I made for dessert. <laughs> and we're going to head out. Hope you guys, um, have a great Father's Day. I hope you find, um, that perfect gift for your dad or the dad figure in your life. And make sure you like and subscribe down below, um, to this video. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great time, uh, weekend.